Ritchie walks in, shoots, they score! Nolan Ritchie might have banked that one in off of Bronco, but a power play goal here for the Wheat Kings, and they've opened the scoring. An East Division Championship a season ago has the branded Wheat Kings brimming with confidence ahead of the new WHL campaign. This year's Wheat Kings are a veteran group with NHL prospects sprinkled up and down the lineup. And that's got everyone feeling a sense of anticipation over what lies ahead. Yeah, I mean, we like our group. I think, uh, you know, when you're talking about talented young players, we had Lars McDanielson and Zimmer, all first round players that played with us last year in the, in the hub, and that's going to you know, uh, put them in good stead uh, to start this season. I think every year it's different. I think every year you, you, you know, you, every team loses good players. You're, you never really know for sure what you've lost until you, you don't have it, right? So we, we, we lose you know, Braden Schneider, who's been a staple with us here for the last four years and was our captain. And uh, Ben McCartney, kind of an unexpected uh, that we didn't get him back. We had pretty much guys here at least a week early, and uh, just to just to see that, I think everyone's really excited to get things going. And the very had kind of a couple just mess around practices where we had a couple scrimmages, but just great to see the guys ready and uh, just the smiles on everyone's faces. So uh, yeah, everyone's pretty excited so far. Back from McCartney, front of the net, they score! Oh baby, what a beauty! Ridley Gregg, another shorthanded marker. Forward Ridley Gregg is one of those NHL prospects, a first-round pick of the Ottawa Senators in 2020. He got a taste of the pro game last spring with the AHL's Belleville Senators. Yeah, yeah, it was an uh, unreal opportunity to head there after uh, the bubble uh, with Brandon in uh, Regina there. I, I headed all right after, and uh, first couple of games, I kind of started slow, but uh, and I kind of scored that goal, and my confidence kind of went through the roof after that. Uh, it was good to just kind of see the guys there and just see how uh, the pro experiences and everything, so uh, definitely a great experience. In all, nine players on Brandon's roster, including Greg, have been spending time and gaining valuable experience at NHL training camps this month. That's a good sign as well. I think that uh, some guys that maybe didn't get drafted that are on the radar that could get drafted going forward. So I think any time you get that experience, that helps your hockey club. You know, we might be a little bit um, slow getting out of the gates because we, we want to have everybody around here for a while. So, it, um, but at the same time, you know, that experience is going to be good. They'll be playing against good players and at a high tempo. So when they come back, they should enter our, into our lineup uh, pretty seamless, seamlessly. And um, we're always real proud of the guys that get drafted, but we'll be just as proud of the guys that uh, sign as free agents. The Wheat Kings won 18 of 24 games in the Regina Hub last season. That success away from home has Greg and his teammates feeling pretty good about what they could accomplish with a bit more home cooking. Yeah, as of now, I, I like I like everybody. I like the confidence in the group. Uh, I like the room right now. There's lots of good energy. Uh, pretty much everyone's just ready to get going here. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I think hopefully we can just kind of eat off the momentum from last year and just kind of keep things rolling. That'd be great. And in an East Division full of young talent, the Wheat Kings are eager to see where their young stars stack up. There's plenty of promise, according to the coach. Here comes Ty Zimmer, hard work on a breakaway, and he scores! Zimmer in behind the defense, and he's got his first. Yeah, I think all the young guys right across the league uh, will you know, take a huge step this year. I think that uh, there was uh, some really talented players across the Eastern Division and uh, for our guys to be able to play against them and have some success and and then you know you're playing with uh, older players so you're jumping right into a season you don't not getting your feet you know you're you're, you're getting more than your feet wet. Jason back for Danielson he scores what a pass from Jake Chason and Danielson's got his first. 